All right, we're back at it once again. This time we're over at Midwest Industries and I'm a big fan of them, especially for all their AK stuff. And they just released yesterday some really, really cool things. Uh, I really do appreciate you having me over here, Troy. And Thanks I just wanted to uh, just get a, a real quick overview on all the different things that you've got going on with some of these rails. These look really, really cool. And I just want to get like a 50,000 foot overview of what you got going on. Okay, well, we got uh, basically a new system of AK rails that we've been working on for the last year and a half. Um, they're very modular. We got a 10 inch length handguard, six inch length handguard. Um, there's a ton of features in them that it's going to take too long to even mention all in the video, but they're very versatile as far as adding. We can add on like a rail top cover here, or if you want to add on like a just a red dot interface. Um, yeah, that's good. No real, no real gunsmith. They're made to fit a wide variety of stamped normal AK pattern guns. Correct. So, unfortunately, guys, you milled guys out there, you know, that's that's unfortunate that we're not going to be able to see that. But that's okay because there's so many stamp receivers and there's there's a lot of companies that are growing right now with the stamp models like, you know, Yeah, PSA we're not saying like they that. won't yeah. come out in the future, but sure. right yeah, now yeah. we course. just got to get over the hump and get, get it out. out. Yeah. Get it out and get all the stamp gun production going and yep. caught up. Yep. Cuz orders are coming in on them. Yeah, absolutely. And then, and then we've got the buttstock going uh, as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I know that we've kind of discussed it off camera real quick. A lot of people, a lot of people out there saying, "Hey, oh, this is just a freaking Zinico copy." But you're like, "No, this is not. This is so not, much more." Not even close. The the lock mechanism is completely different. It folds. We actually use a pick rail to fold uh, to mount it. They basically direct interface into the back of the gun. Correct. Um, the stock is built fully on center center line, so you can fold it left or right. You can put the cheek piece on the left side, the right side. It has built-in QD sockets. The butt plate is adjustable. It can be removed. So when the pistol brace BS is over with, right. you can put a tail hook right onto the tail end of the, the stock, yep. or then it would be a pistol brace. Yep. Um, really know what else to tell you about no, it. It fits on a wide variety of platforms, though, with it being interfaced to a pick rail. Yeah, exactly. And so uh, if you've got uh, even like Yugo stuff, like we we, we went and be able to do uh, anything with the hand guards, but Yugos, you shouldn't have any problems with uh, as long as you got the pick section. Correct. Uh, there. <laughs> we even have MP5s, MPXs, MCXs. We've tried it on all those platforms. It works great. Yeah. Adjustable cheek piece. So you get a good cheek weld, yep. uh, running optics on stuff, and yep. there's a, a adjustable uh, six positions. Link, link for the yeah, yep. yep. awesome. Um, we also make a fixed beam one. Yep. All right, so the next thing that they've got going on is their light mounting system, and this is actually really pretty cool as well because it's pretty versatile, like you had said before off camera. So talk about that real quick. So when we designed this part, we wanted something super simple, yeah. something very easy to put on that didn't interfere with any of the features of the gun. Yeah. You can use the cleaning rod, you can field strip the rifle, take the gas tube off, all that normal maintenance and servicing stuff, the mount stays right where it's at. Mm -hmm. It doesn't interfere with any of that. It goes on with two bolts, um, it's super tight to the rifle, so it doesn't add a lot of width. It can be offset to the rear, it can be offset to the front. You can slide it down actually in front of the gas block if you want, offset it to the rear. Very versatile. Um, it works for barrel diameters from 510 up to 700. Okay. So it'll work with regular AKM rifles, 4774s, Yugos, all those guns that'll work. Awesome, awesome. That's, that's super Very cool. economical price point. Too. Yeah, yeah that's, that's super cool. Um, this is already released. It's been out on the market for yep. a couple of months, right? Um, MSRP, what about what we're looking right at? Right around the hundred, a little bit over a hundred dollar mark. Okay. Prices uh, are all for all these products are on the website. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. So uh, there you have it. That is uh, Midwest Industries. Some really, really cool stuff for you AK guys out there. You know, I've gotten big into AKs over the last couple of years, and it's been really cool to see everything that you guys are doing for Thank the you. community. That's really, really cool. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get some out for some samples and try them out and beat them up and, and uh, give you a better, more in-depth report for everybody. And uh, yeah, I really do appreciate your time, cool. Troy. Thanks Thank for you stopping so much. By. I really Absolutely. appreciate it.
That's all we're gonna do for Midwest Industries this time. If you guys have any questions or anything, put it in the comments and I can always come back and talk to the guys and let you guys know if you have any concerns, comments, complaints, anything at all, we can talk about it in the comment sections. I really do appreciate everybody's support. Thanks so much. Catch you guys next time. Here comes a high five. Later, guys.